Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be looking at how to use function based views for creating a new instance of any model. You can use this strategy to define a create view using function based views for your any type of model for your any model that can create any type of attribute including foreign key many to many key all right so we will be using model form. Uh, the final goal will be this type of form so we have to create a form like this and so that we can add a new post here so let's say our post is django create view and when we add this and the block type let's say cs and whatever text you want to give here okay and as you submit it you will have this new post created that's the goal of this video that's it as you can see here this is created and updated just a while ago so let's start so for this we have this model here defined in our app post and in this model we want to create a form in this app and in this app post we want to create a file that is forms.py i already have it and in this forms.py there will be two things first you have to import the forms and the model model is defined in our models.py and the model image post as you can see here so for the model import this and then you have to create a model form by creating a class and inheriting the model forms from this forms okay and the name of the model will be post and what this exclude field is doing is we want to exclude id and slug because we don't want in our form so either you can give the fields that you want for example i want fields in uh, i want what are the fields i want in my form so i want title as you can see here in this post i want title block type text and status because slug and these data in field because these are auto add so they will be uh, automatically added okay because this auto now now the thing is uh, slug will be automatically added because of the signal if you don't know about the select please check out the video of select field now so the four fields that we want to add it are title block type text and status so you want to add that um, those fields that you want to add in your form okay so block type and fields block type text and the last one will be status there you go now these are the fields that will appear in our form now we want to we have to import this form in our view and then we will link this particular form with our html file so let's do it in our views.py first import from dot forms post create because the name of the form is post create that's why we are importing it from forms and let's create a new function which will be post create new uh, any name you want to give and in this variable post form we are having this post create don't forget to use parenthesis okay and in then then we are returning the render you and with the use of html file that is update.html we are having post form as a context to key pair form okay and let's go to update.html in update.html file we can access the value of this form keyword okay so in this update.html we are accessing the value of form that's so simple all right so go to again let's say we are having now let's now the last thing that is left for this view to render out is we have to make a new url pattern okay so let's go to urls import this first from dot views and make a new path so i am just copying down it and it will be post the next argument will be post create new and let's say here you want to give the create just create okay there you go and now you can navigate to post create to run this function and this function is actually this defined here and it will render out the update.html file with the form as the context pair so let's go now this is the form as you can see here there are four field title block type text and status you can make it a little prettier just by just adding dot edge p that is edge a paragraph we want to render it out so now this is much more better as you view the page source here this only contains the input fields like label title block type text and status nothing else okay so these are four fields no, not a form and not a submit button for that we have to create a form and in the form 
action just ignore the action for a while and then method equal to post okay we want to add the data that's why i'm using post method here and in the post method we have to make a button also we have to make a button in this form also that is input and type will be submit okay that will be submit button and now take this form inside this that's all now as you can see here we have a form with the input button here and as you refresh there you go now if i submit this so it will be saying that uh, you have to enter these fields now we have to do something in our views.py so that we can handle out this post thing okay for that just do one thing that is if request dot method if the request dot method just do one thing that is if the if the request dot method is equal to post then in that case our form variable will be post form will change to post create and in that we have to make sure that we are taking the data of request dot post okay and then you can just do post form dot save so we are just running the save method of the form that's it and otherwise if the request is not post so obviously this thing will run and in this case we want to return redirect to where our every post is showing for that you can check the url and oh, this is my show post function so just copy this name variable and add this here in redirect there you go now we are having a method to handle out the post thing otherwise it will handle the get thing that is this so this is just get view okay as you can see here so this block is running for the get otherwise this block will run so if i say a new title new post title okay and whatever the block type you want to give whatever you want to give as text so text let's say just a text string and submit it and now this is saying that this is forbidden why because the csrf verification failed for that actually the thing is Django usage cross site request forgery in a special token every time a form is created it should have in a special token okay with it for that you want to go you have to go to update.html and add a token there that is double curly braces double percentage and inside this just write out csrf underscore token there you go and now go back as you can see here right now the form was this and if you refresh a new field will be appear and it will be hidden it will not be seen um, in this form as you refresh it okay so now it contain a unique field every time you refresh you get a unique field which is we say the csrf token that's it so let's say uh, just again do it new title and here choose any type of blog any type of text and submit it here you go now you are creating this block this is what we say the create view all right and one more thing that i want to show you is in the views.py instead of using this form method dot save you can go a little bit more deeper inside if you want to you know change some functionality or if you want to do something more inside it so what you can do is just check out first that if your form is valid so if post form dot each valid and don't forget to use again parenthesis now if i print the data inside our request post so i am printing this print request dot post and as you go back to that url which is this and let's say our new title is one two three four new title one two three four make sure you and remember it for a while and here we submit it and because we are printing the request dot post you can see here we are having a query dictionary with the csrf token this is unique token for every form we are having the title okay we written we have written this okay and the block type this is foreign key of the block type and the text is again the srf 1234 because we are printing and the status so these are the data that we are actually giving in our form and we are accessing this data directly by using this uh, request dot post so for uh, this we can uh, now we know that request.post is a dictionary all right you can directly you know 
left uh, uh, doing all of these things if you use posthome.co but uh, if you want to go deeper that's why i'm just telling you now uh, if the form is valid you can access these fields directly so first will be uh, field will be title title will be equal to post form dot cleaned data the clean data uh, it's coming from the Django forms and this is because a dictionary so we can directly do get and the name of the key the key is title all right so title and you want to do this for block type also so block type whatever uh, parameter or whatever variable you want to take here so inside the post form dot cleaned data uh, post form dot clean data and dot get because it is again a dictionary with the key as you can see here block type so you can copy it directly and paste it and you want to do it two more times for status and whatever field you are having that is status and text okay so text and status so it is in status and that is status and this will be text so here you go now you are having all the four fields okay you can again check whether these are right or not so you can print the title you can print the block type you can print the text you can print out the status okay now as you again submit it let's say we are having some random data again big data again and submit it as you can see here these are our new title then text these are coming all as we have printed because of the comma so they are having in the same line so now this is very very fine so you can say that whatever the user will be typing in the hitch form you can access these things in these variables okay so if you want to save them as it is and don't want to manipulate the data you can just do post dot create post dot objects you can just do post.objects.create and here you go title will be equal to the title that we are having in the variable field block type will be equal to block type and text will be equal to text and last thing that is status will be equal to status there you go and if everything worked fine then you want to return him again to the same thing that is return redirect to this otherwise if the form is not valid if there is some problem with the form then he will directly come to this okay this thing that is he will again be rendered with the same form so if i again do and now if i submit it with the same data there you go the thing is that uh, not null constraint failed that is block type id so this is happening because we are certainly not saving the block type because of this because this should be not get post so this should be block type my bad all right so again refresh it and as you can see here we have our new post created so this thing this whole thing is working similar to the form save if you don't want to manipulate any data you can just left this out and just you can do that post form that you are having as a variable just write the save function that's it all the same thing will be done all right so this is all for this video thank you so much